All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods. Eight hardcore guys, we are still alive. What day are we even on? Let's find out. We are on day 315. That's right. Uh, most of those days are AFKing. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and set this up. I haven't put up the outhouse yet because uh, we probably are going to add a couple more this way, believe it or not. Uh, your night seeds have been growing. Um. I do notice that these guys really struggle at night, obviously, because these are solar panels. I mean, they're, they're going back up, but if I have to sleep every night. So yeah, we're gonna kind of fix that today. We're not gonna be relying on solar panels anymore. We're still going from that mod, but just not solar panels. We're gonna be working on reactors today. So um, yeah, we need to go up and we need to make a couple of these. Um, yeah, so with the added uh blaze farm these are now awesome so probably gonna need another stack yep okay so we can make a stack of the center dudes the dielectric casings yep that's what we like to see there um these guys should be super simple to make we are out of redstone that's really what we're hurting on is red so we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of these can we convert these back No. Why would you be able to do that? Okay, maybe yeah, maybe we just chill with a stack of those. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're already out of the urinite. Oh no! All right, please tell me this guy's been growing. Urinite seeds. What is, so you get two per eight of those, ooh. So we might need to make four of these. Or we could have eight total because this is gonna be fuel for us. So it's actually really important that it, that it grows a lot, you know? Okay, so those just got harvested. We have a total of four. Hmm, okay. So I might need to go deep into the mine and do some mining. Check it out, we won't take any fall damage. This will freak you out. Oh. Could you imagine if for some crazy... Is that prosperity? Yes, that's prosperity. Nice. I also have Fortune 2 on my pickaxe now. So I'm going to go around here and we're going to look for some ores. All right. So we should have enough to go ahead and finish this out. I think 36 is the magic number. I could be mistaken. But we are actually going to put these guys here. Uh, or this guy, I should say. Uh, okay, so that's gonna run off of those. I did not think to grab a water bottle uh, or a bucket of water. Charcoal, we got redstone, some ice, but that's okay, we don't have to worry about that right now. So what we're gonna wanna do is put a water bucket in there right away, otherwise this thing runs terribly. Get some redstone in there, get some charcoal in there, and then you're gonna wanna get some uranite in there. For fuel, I'm gonna make this the uranite thing. So it should, yeah, we can simply just grab a pipe like this. It's extremely temporary. Um, pipe wrench, put that out, put that here. We'll put that in. So we're gonna put this on auto. Um, generating 182 fe per tick now this isn't depending on the like what where the sun is in the sky which is really cool we're gonna put this we're gonna put that guy right there kind of hide that that looks pretty good i wonder if we do that no we need to be in a different spot okay no worries okay so yeah that is awesome um let's sleep real quick now the way we have this set up, uh, yeah, this is not being charged. Oh, that might help. Yeah, okay, now, now we're charging. Okay, so let's see, I need to enchant some items. We're just gonna use a, uh, like an iron pickaxe right here. Uh, 
Okay, so we put some ice in here. There's just a mountain over here that we mined a bit of and we threw some ice in here. Uh, we are running pretty low on uranite here, so I guess I'm gonna try uh, to find a cave or something pretty close that will allow us to find some raw uranite in the ground, hopefully. But we need one of those really deep whoa this might be one of the coolest looking caves i've ever seen wow okay dude so a bit of time has passed and by the way what do you guys think of the shaders so what it is is the complimentary shaders um but we have these turned down to the potato setting and I actually really like it. So we lose water and then we lose the shadows, which I've never really been a big fan of. Uh, yeah, like we lose like the long cast shadows. But I really, I really like this. I saw it in Ethos video, uh, one of his later uh, modded Minecraft videos, and I just really like it. So what I want to go ahead and do here is set up some auto crafting for these guys. And if you guys hear any noises, I have two cats wrestling on my desk over to my left. And I'm sorry about that. But it's WWE Smackdown for them because it is nighttime and they get the zoomies. So they're fighting on my desk while I'm trying to record a video. But we will persist. Yep, they're fighting. Playfully fighting. There's the sound. And one, one of them smacking the other in the head. This is good. Please don't knock each other off of the desk. That would be sad. I wish I had video of this. You guys would probably find this very entertaining. But they like to play. Don't bite him on the neck. That's not nice. Okay. Sorry. Right. Back to what we were doing. I'm going to have to kick him out. Hey, stop that. Kick me out. He didn't like that. You wouldn't like it if someone bit down on your back. They are being rambunctious. Anywho, so we need to turn this into raw uranite, which we can do. Cool. And so we're going to want to make the starter reactor. And I think we may have enough for this. Let us do, do this. Yes. We got a little bit of power built up. We can also take some of those. Okay. Okay. So I think we should be rolling pretty good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build this yet again. I also set up this wind generator to just kind of help make some passive power, but I don't believe we're gonna need it after this upgrade. So get the water bucket in there right away. Booyah, turn that on, automatic. And we should be creating pretty good amount. Generating almost a thousand? Whoa. That's gonna be awesome. 1,000 FE, yeah, that charged that up quick. I don't know if that was full or not. Dang, okay. Yeah, so that's gonna be really good. Um, yeah, look at that. That's charging up so fast. That can charge up our jetpack so quickly. Shoot. So we no longer need this guy here. I think I just wasted all that power. But we can put this here. And we're charged up. Oh my gosh, this is our new charge spot. Yeah, we don't need this guy anymore. Power reactors are amazing. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and get that automation set up now. It's super simple. Um, so we're gonna need to make a, a crafter from RF Tools. Um, Pretty easy to craft. Oops, that was a full stack. And then we need some of this. Okay. And I think we're gonna set up two for now. I don't think we'll need any more than that. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna need some pipe and then we're also going to get into some ender chests um these guys hither 
do we need for you? Leather. Leather, leather. And I believe we get this from Rotten Flesh, which we have a farm of now over here. Yep, only a couple thousand. Okay, so we have sufficient leather for one of these guys. I'm going to set up a whole system here to kind of automate the making of leather. I'll show you guys that hopefully soon. Um, but yes, now we have an ender chest and we're going to need one more. So this is going to be pretty important. Do we have anything like space on the wall? We could put it up above our bed. <laughs> yes, let us let, let's do that right above our bed. Okay. So there we go. And then we're just gonna lock this guy. Uh, yeah. So that's locked. We put leather in there. So now we can take that out. And then we'll probably lock this to rotten flesh as well. We don't accidentally put anything else in there. And then we go like this. And we need to grab you. And we will put you here. And we take items out here. So this should fill up. Yes. And then we'll take this out. And because this doesn't have an inventory, it can only take out leather because that's the only thing that will move through here. So this is automated. Literally, we've automated leather. That's how easy it is. All we have to do is move our rotten flesh over here. And if we were to say automate the mob farms and then also put an ender chest where this guy, the drawer is up here for rotten flesh, it would 100% be automatic. We would never have to touch it and we would have leather at our fingertips always and we'd be getting more every second that we were awake so anyways moving on let's get this here we're gonna leave triple white for the i did it again we're gonna leave triple white for the input of our emmy system we're not gonna do triple white yet i'll show you what we're doing here um and because it's urinite i think we're gonna do have any cacti yet oh that's right i bought it from him swap nomadic cool so no, um, we're looking for green cool okay lime dye sweet white white or lime 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 and we can do something pretty uh, actually we don't have any diamonds i don't think we have enough for this actually so you make these private and the reason why we're going to make them private is we can reutilize three lime on the non-private channel because this, this is hardcore it like no one else is playing with us so we don't really have to worry about that but it does give us the opportunity to have another triple one. So if you add some ender pearls onto those guys, they expand. And we're actually gonna swap out this drawer with one of these guys. So what we gotta do here is set to export. Beautiful. And now that's linked up and we can put this over there. Okay, so I know we set this up last episode, but we're going to unset this up. So I'm gonna put this here. 
so that when I do this, I have somewhere to put all the items. Good, okay. So, here and here. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna require power. So I do need those pipes. Okay, so we're just gonna run these guys on top. So these guys should have power. Yes, but just not a lot because these guys aren't the best. We'll eventually switch them over to something else entirely. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna click here for no recipe. We're gonna hit uses. We're gonna click this and apply. Good. Um, I also think we should put all of the uranite on to right. And so that way we don't have to worry about having the same recipe on both sides. We'll just have to worry about it being on one side. Good. So those get crafted up into uranite and then I can extract those. Um, hmm. Well, What I can do is set this to only have uranite, and then we can lock this. So we extract out, and once uranite's created, it goes into here. We can put like a speed upgrade on that, and then we can set up a pipe here to go into this and pull out and put it into here. Yes. Here we go, Certus Quartz. We are gonna do that one. Then we'll click here, Copper. We'll do this one. And then here we'll do Lapis. And we'll do that. All right, and for here, we'll do Diamonds. We'll do this. And so if you guys are wondering, I'm hitting Uses, are the U key. Hitting this, oh, don't we need to hit this one. Uses, um, this, and then hitting Apply. You click, oh gosh, I got here. You click apply here. You click apply. There we go. So, what we can do is, I guess, I guess because we have so much extra storage around, we could set up the main input. Um, I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Look at that, 60 leather, and we literally are doing nothing for it. That's so, okay. So, hmm. honestly, this is probably the best spot. So we need to make an importer, an import bus, which we just need a sticky piston for. Import bus, perfect, and then we need a cable. The import bus just acts like an importer from any other mod we've played. Like reform, like refined storage, that's what it acts like. So here, and then we connect it up. And that should go online, yep. And so any item that goes into here, yep, will be brought into the system. And we can speed that up with speed upgrades and such. So that's cool. But I do like that being kind of in the floor. That gives it, like it doesn't take up a lot of space and it'll be very accessible. So let's get those, um, I'm gonna grab some ender pearls and we're gonna shift right click this guy, increase up to 27 and we're good to go. So we have a lot of storage for this, which is good. So then over here, all we have to do is that, and any item that can't be placed in this oak drawer, which is anything but uranite, 
will be put into here. And so this one, because we don't have to worry about anything like that, we can just click it. And all of this stuff has been automated. Fast. Fast. So let's work on some upgrades for those pipes. We'll go here for two of them. And we'll just stick with this for now, mainly because we don't have that many diamonds yet. So here you go. And here you go. So now those will be quick. Those will get those items out pretty fast. And we can just go AFK and this stuff will be good to go. I do believe I have these chunk loaded. I sure do. So that is awesome. But yeah, check it out. This is now 100% automated. Like we have automated resources. We can add some more solar panels and such like that. But yeah, these are, these are rolling. How are you doing on power? Oh, they are catching up. Nice. Okay, so something I want to look into real quick is flux networks. Um, so we need a flux plug. And how do we make the flux again? We're going to need obsidian. So we go down to bedrock and we put obsidian over bedrock and it gives us that with redstone. All right, let's try this out. Okay, so we got some bedrock right here. So we're gonna take this and we'll throw these. Oh, my magnet. Okay, try that one more time. Click. Oh, you just right click it. Cool, we got a bunch. So I don't think we'll need to do that again because I'm gonna make one of the, oh, nope. One of these guys. Oh. Good. Okay. And we can do this. So we'll always leave this here. And all we have to do is take some redstone, take some obsidian, which I do believe we should make a farm here pretty soon. So we take this. Throw it on the ground, throw this, click it, yep. This makes flux, so we don't have to go back down to bedrock for it, which is cool. Okay. So we're gonna make a flux plug here, and then we're gonna make a flux point. All right, so the flux plug adds power to the network, and a flux uh, point removes power from the network. So we have a, we have a power tap up here, so what I'm gonna do is shift click this and we're gonna name, oh, we're gonna make a new network, Super Turtle. Let's just call this Turtle Power. Oh man, I gotta hit it. All right, let's make it green, obviously. We don't have to worry about encrypting it. Wait, make it public. If someone joins it, that'd be really weird. Cool, so this has been set to it. Uh, bypass limit, chunk. That's not a thing. That's fine. So this removes power, and then we're going to take the flux point and set it up to the same network, and it should give power. So click here, and these guys should stay full all the time. This is just kind of like backup power. Almost. Those are going down, though. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's right, because the sun goes down, and those are solar panels. That's why they go down in power, because they're not being replenished. That's fine. But now every, like, our power, we're all, it's all being used here, which is really cool. Yeah, it's currently off. Um, auto mode is on, so anytime it goes, I think it's below, like, 70 or 80%. I don't know the exact number. But it should kick or yeah, 70%. Yep. So it went down and now it's kicked back on and then it'll fill up and we'll be set. So we need to uh, grab an exporter because we're still gonna automate everything. Alright, export bus. This guy here. Super simple. And we're gonna grab. I think we should grab normal coal as well. And 
then eventually yeah okay let's see we got a pretty good pretty good spot here to put this um okay we're gonna need a capacity card all right so capacity or yeah a capacity card is made up of basic card which utilizes a calculation processor here and then you combine that and we get this we can also make an acceleration card i believe yep which will allow us to export items much faster we're only going to use one and might as well grab a cable we only need one okay acceleration two capacity so boom 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 um and then we connect this here and we should see these guys going up yep redstone should go up uh we can do that for packed ice too um even though we're not automating packed ice yet we do have a big supply of it We have 160 packed ice. Ooh, found a spawner. Oh, it's a great spawner. That's fun. Uh, I just been mining this. What's in here? Ooh. All right, here we go. We're making some ice seeds. All right, we got the second ones. Cool. Okay, so coming over here, all we need to do is just add two more of everything. go now i think everything in here is ready to go for that okay good so we just had two ice seeds grow so we can do this and this then we can come on down here and yep there we go so uses snow that makes 20 packed ice wow that makes 24 normal so we're gonna do this so we get a nine ice essence. We get 20 packed ice and that this is already set up automated. So now we have automated all except for those. Should we make some coal seeds while we're here? What essence level are you? Two, okay, that's super simple. Let's make those real quick. All right, first coal seeds completed, sweet. So that means we're gonna come on to this side here. And we're gonna middle click here, middle click here, and middle click here. And then we're gonna set these to extract. And then we can go like this and like this. Booyah! So coal essence is now being automated. Sweet. Very cool, All right? And so we can actually jump ahead. And if you look up the recipe for the coal essence, you can find the uses here. Then you can click it and we're set. So if we get coal essence, we're already set up and good to go. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. In this episode, we set up power generation and we're gonna have lots of it. So after all the charcoals run out, our coal will start filling in and we're good to go. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next episode. Take care, peace out.